Hello and welcome to Foot Levelers version 7 advanced training. In this segment we will discuss how to use the circular icon located in the top left corner of your screen, also known as the ribbon. Log into the software as you normally would and click the ribbon. You can now see a window with four topics. I will cover each of these separately starting at the top. The first option is settings. If you place your arrow over the settings tab you will notice a second window with three more options. The first is provider preferences. Under this tab you can add a separate address for the practice or manager pricing. You can also get here by selecting home from the main screen and select the pricing tab. Manage users will allow you to change the current password and even set up a security question. The maintenance tab allows you to back up your data. This feature stores the information from your scanner in a location outside the associate software. The benefit here is if your associate program gets corrupted, or our tech support can install it for you. Next is the Help option. If you select About, you can see if you are running the most current software version. FAQs will redirect you to a web page containing many frequently asked questions along with the corresponding answers. The User Guide is an instruction manual on how to use the software. The Manage Orders buttons will direct you to your Not Sent folder and allow you to submit orders you saved rather than sent. You can also get here by selecting Home and then Order Manager. Lastly contained in the Reports tab you will find the following reports. Patients Scanned. It's a list of patients you have scanned. Reorders. It's a list of reorders done through your software. Note that this does not count the patients you reordered for by calling foot levelers. Product Types. This is a list by type of your order history. Scanned No Orders. This contains patient scan that you did not order for. Please note that if you have the same patient in your system under two different names, for example Sally Smith and S. Smith, it doesn't know these two names represent the same person. You can use this report as a follow-up tool. Total SPS Orders. It's a list by name, date, and item of all your orders. It combines the above list. Now it's your turn to practice what you've learned. 